maybe when having a Senate full of morons uh, isn't quite as bad that everything's just at a standstill because they can't think any deeper than just what partisan hackery. Uh, and that's why nothing, no legislation ever seems to actually get passed, uh, except some tiny little pieces that, of course, are usually bad. But then it's all just about spending. What uh, extra trillion dollars spending can we do this month? Uh, it, 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 it is certainly different in that way, but it's always hard to say if things are actually getting worse or not in the short term. <laughs> Well, see, I, I've now, I think I've, I've, I've developed a very strong opinion on this. And I, I, I think that this is a bad thing. And I think it's because, again, while there is, I think, a consequence of having sort of true ideological believers when they believe the wrong ideology in these positions, you know, a, a true believer is harder to man manipulate um, than a, an empty vessel. Um, and, and you did very much, you know, often the, the, like the last name of the senator used to you know, matter a lot more, right? You, you'd have families of statewide politics. And since these were far harder elections to run on a statewide basis, right, you still you see sort of the family names. And, and so these are people that, that tended to to come up within, you know, back when universities were actually, you know, institutions of higher learning, right? You know, you, you kind of get that natural elite aspect a little bit, you know, again, not perfect, but, you know, more average than, than other political positions in that just because of the high barriers of entry. Um, but I think it's precisely the fact that you have senators that are increasingly like representatives um, with, with fewer election cycles, that these are the people the most manipulated by the bureaucracy, right? Th these are the people most manipulated by con uh, con congressional staffers. And, and these are the ones that are not, that are, that are isolated from the democratic mechanism. And while I, you know, I understand, as we have discussed in a, a podcast in the past, that there, there are downfalls to that democratic mechanism. Um, I think as long as they exist symbolically, there is very much a, a uh, you know, that, 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 that non-elected political class uh, is, is detrimental. And the less intellect we have in the Senate, the harder it is for the people that are actually in those chairs making that final decision into vote, you know, you know, have, having a lower quality leads to a lot more of the monopolization within kind of the non-elected sphere. It increases their power at the expense of the rest. And, and so I, I, I've now become, you know, I, I'd much rather have, uh, 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 you know, people with bad ideas that they firmly believe in than, than this, given the, the quality of the swamp, uh, uh, you know, have, have them kind of going along with the games. Whereas, you know, there, there are situations you know, just as the, the counter example to that, though, there are examples where like, the swamp might be better than your average intellect. And, and so there are, there are certain situations where if you've got like a, a, a you know, all the right sort of, of, of interest groups and, and kind of alignment there where the swamp is actually trying to push like good policy. I, I think there's some um, state level kind of swampy ecosystems where like you have a very strong, good think tank that actually can kind of, you know, in that case, having them blindly listen to them, that'd be a good Senate, right? Like that'd be a Senator better than, better, better than average. Um, but given, given the, the, just how, how awful DC is, I think we're, 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 there's a negative consequence to an increasingly shallow intellectual group. Of yeah. I think at the state and local level, it's more of a crapshoot as to whether you're dealing with yeah. a good mixture of people who maybe have uh, an ideological viewpoint that isn't totally horrible. Uh, but in Washington, it tends to be uh, generally reliably bad. Mm -hmm.